everyone, it's Casters here, and it's time to play more Ark Survival Evolved. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, man, oh, man, I'm super excited. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far and an amazing day so far today. Um, just hanging out on the Dino Ranch and doing a bunch of stuff, getting things going, man. Um, last time, we worked a whole bunch on what used to just be, like, the poop hut, but now... It is like a whole farming complex. Oh, we're a little bit hungry. Let's, um, we need to get a little bit of food here so we can eat and live and succeed in the game of Ark with massive dinosaurs. All right, so now we got a little bit more steak in our inventory. We're doing super, super good. Um, I did a little bit more kind of work on the farming complex. I kind of want to show you guys what's going on here. So we never really got a good look at how this actually looks here. Last time I realized I ran behind like a bunch of trike butts and stuff. Here, let's pop up on Tickles the Bronto. Yeah, so that's what it's looking like. Like, that's a little bit better representation of how this is actually looking. Um, and yeah. Yeah, last time we got that second level going. We got the little gazebo kind of roof happening here. And we were doing like beer brewing and stuff like that. So the first thing that I want to do today is let's come over and take a little check on Poo Roller here. How you doing, man? How you doing? Oh man, look at all the stuff! So I've only been using medium size poos. Um, it seems like with the small poo or with the large poo, you don't get enough output to like really warrant using up the weight, but the medium, you get like a super awesome amount of output from. Now, I've also got these little windows here. I think I forgot to show you guys this last time. So I can just kind of like pop fertilizer right in there. While I'm in here with the poo roller, let's fill this up super fast. This is going to be full. Yeah, 45 of 45. That's totally cool. But I have to make sure I shut these windows, which can be kind of tricky. Um, because the beetle tries to climb out of them. So if you're trying to contain a beetle, be careful. Because these guys are tricky, man. They're like little escape artists. Like, if I were to leave this window open, he could actually just crawl right up out of there and escape on me. So we don't want that to happen. Let's pop over here super quick. His output has been absolutely awesome. And now that we have some extra fertilizer, eventually I'll get all those building supplies out there. We're gonna go ahead and just like throw some in the crops if we can. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have like all the berries, guys. We have all the berries! This is amazing. Here, let's actually take these and pop in two fertilizer. Cause I think it will just make extra inventory slots like once the inventory is full. So there shouldn't be any issue as far as just, like, stuffing the crops as full as I want to here. Um, and these berries I'm going to use to make some more brew. I was checking things out. We'll go down there in just a second here. Mayho. Might just use those for some food for somebody. Oh, we only have one more fertilizer anyway. Alright. So, I was doing a little experimentation with the brewing. And if you guys can confirm this, go ahead and let me know. Um, with different barrels, I was putting different types of berries in each barrel, and it seems like no matter what type of berry we use, we will get the same- Oh my gosh. Dose is like totally creeping in the brewery. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was trying one type of berry in each of these barrels, and this barrel, I was trying mixed berries. I was trying all different types together, and that is the one that did not yield anything. So, if you're brewing beer- Oh, how many have we got in here? Look at that! That's so cool! So I put, like, two stacks of thatch in here, which is enough for, uh, let's see, four times five. It's for five brews, right? And then I filled the rest with berries. Um, so then however many berries were left after spoil timers got turned into the beer liquid. So we've got three here. Totally rocking it. Oh, we got three here, too! Oh, this is so cool! And we got three here, too! So that's, like, really, really cool. Now I'm wondering... Can I just go ahead and kind of throw these in there and get those fermenting on top of what's already fermented? I do not have um, any more water jars just yet. I need to make a couple more because um, they're already all full of brew. Now, there's not really a reason to do the whole brewing thing. Like, it's pretty trolly. It just kind of knocks your stamina out. But I was thinking, guys, oh my gosh. I was thinking we might be able to use it to kind of, like, tra prank some of our tribe mates. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, you could totally knock someone out and then just force feed them a bunch of beer. And then they'll be stuck with that effect as long as, you know, as many beers as you feed them. So I think that could be pretty funny. 
let's go over to Timber and let's just pop the mayo berries on him super fast. I have a little something I want to do. So last time, we were like building. We were getting stuff going. And this middle part really, really bothered me. You can see I've got, there's normal thatch here right now that's not painted. I want to try and go ahead and like get something else going with this. So in the storage closet here, I've got a bunch of building supplies. Like I'm pretty sure we're gonna have enough to do everything I want to do. Grab some thatch, some fibre, and some wood. And then we'll come over here and we'll type in wood. And ceiling, which I cannot spell. Is it just a roof? Do I not know a roof? What? I have to know it, don't I? Wooden ceiling. Oh, it's wooden. Tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Alright, craft up three of those guys. What are we going to be short on? Wood? Grab some more right here. And what I want to do is see how this second level of the farming complex is going to look if we just replace it all with wood ceilings. You know what I'm saying? So here, let's go ahead, get into our inventory. Pop that guy right in there. Oh my gosh. Now, am I going to be able to place this without um, without it kind of being destroyed? You know what I mean? Let's go see. Is our crop plot still there? Go away, rain. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, it listened! What? You listened to me, Ark? That is so cool. I can't even believe it. I was like, rain, rain, go away. And it's like, okay, I gotcha. So cool. Look at how good that looks. Oh, that looks so much better. Let's see if we can just pop in these wood ceilings. And that's really cool that we're not going to lose the structures that are on top of them. Bam. Now I'm kind of toying around with the idea of only doing the middle as wood. And maybe leaving the outsides as thatch. But that could look goofy. I'm not too sure. I'm just kind of, I want to make sure that all the boards are going the same way. Um, can I make more? No, we need some more wood. Yeah, I want to make sure all the boards are going the same way so it doesn't look all kind of janky up there. And I'm just going to make a bunch of ceilings because I can already kind of tell by how it's looking from the bottom that we're going to want to go ahead and convert the whole thing. Oh, we're so encumbered. Craft two more so we can walk. <gasps> what are you doing with Barney? What are you doing, Dills? Barney is an old man. Don't be carrying him up in the air like that. <laughs> All right, so let's pop up top super quick. See how that's looking. With just the metal, I mean, just the middle being replaced with wood. I think it should look okay. All right, how are we doing up here? Oh, this looks so much better. This looks so, so much better. Oh my gosh. Now, I do still have one issue, and that's we have these two crops going on right here. Aww. All right, so how is it going to look if we replace... All of these ceilings. Like, can we replace you? I think it should look okay because now that we have a, another layer to the roof up there, I don't think it should be too goofy looking at all. I think it's gonna end up okay. I think we got this. Bam. And of course, I'm gonna have to get my spray paint gun out so we can spray paint all this brown. I don't like the default wood look. I, I really don't. It's all like stained and oily and messed up from processing or something and hopefully this isn't going to detract from the way that our attached um additions look on the barn that's kind of why i stuck away from doing the wood ceilings here at first um because all of our little wings are made out of thatch oh you know what that is looking so much better oh my gosh so how many more do we need here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only need seven more. Do we have enough materials to do this? <laughs> I bet you we don't. Wooden. Wooden. Four. We can make like half as much. That's cool, man. The mammoths have like tons on them. I'm pretty dang sure. All right, like a so. Craft faster. I'm almost thinking I should have put a bunch of points into crafting speed. Just while I'm in building phases like this. Um, it makes sense to me to have the combat kind of stuff when you want to go out and do it. What is happening there? Why is there a thatch through my... What is happening? Can I destroy you? 
Oh crap! Why did it destroy the wooden one? It didn't destroy the thatch one. Okay, 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 okay. Try again. That's so funky. Why did that happen? And that is up higher. You see that? Why would that be up higher? Okay, I'm super, super confused. Let's go to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. Okay. So, it's placed. Um... Why is that thatch ceiling like that? What the crap? Can we? I don't want the wooden ceiling. Where is the thatch ceiling? Can we jump over this railing and maybe get it from the other side here? Thatch ceiling. Oh, I was really, really nervous that something terrible might happen there. Um, why is that up higher? That is so weird. You know, oh, is it that windowed wall? No, because it's not doing it on that side. What the heck? All right, let's see if we can grab some more wood super, super fast here. I think I should have some hanging out over on blueberry. Blueberry, maybe? Just enough. Oh man, that is so bothering me. Why is that not flush with the rest of the floor? Okay, wooden ceiling. Maybe with the thatch it just was not as noticeable. You guys know what I'm saying? All right, let's come up here. I don't know what, what Dills is doing. Why is that up higher? Why are you up higher? What is your major malfunction? Could we get a second snap point maybe? Oh my gosh. You know, I bet ya we need like a sloped roof there instead of that windowed wall. Do you guys think? They can't place it there. It says it's obstructed, but the higher spot is where it wants to go. All right, all right, okay. I got an idea. And hopefully we don't destroy half of the poop barn. Take the windowed wall out. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, structural integrity is still, still golden. We'll get rid of this ceiling. Oh, every time I break it, I'm so worried something else is gonna break. Now you're gonna place the same, right? Oh, we did it! We did it! Oh, we did it! Now, can we just take this windowed wall out over here, too? Because I don't think we need it. Alright, sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet! Oh, that's so nice. I'm so happy we were able to figure that out. Now we just need three more of these guys. And I'm wondering, are we going to have the same problem everywhere that another roof is kind of attaching here? That would be sort of a pain. Did that just place under the thatch? It totally did. So yeah, here's another spot where we're going to have the same kind of funky things happening. And that is up higher. Alright, we are back. I just got a bunch more wood on um, Blueberry here so we can keep on going with our little pro project. Um, really quick, let's grab some wood out of his inventory right here. And some thatch. And a little bit of fiber. And wooden ceilings once again. Wooden ceiling. Let's craft seven of them because the way this is going, it seems like there's going to be like a bunch of mistakes. Kind of a pain when things won't place where you want them to. I probably should have made this whole floor wooden before I put any of the additions on. But you know, that's part of like, that's part of remodeling. Just trying to get everything going. No, no, no. No, no, no. Snap lower. Now, did you do it? Yes! Yes! Okay, are we going to have the same problem with these? See how these are a little bit taller? I bet you we're going to have the same sort of placement issue here. I really hope not, but I can already see that it's going to be taller. Can we pop it right there? Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! We're so amazing! Um, last one. Could we just be this lucky again? Oh no, that one placed the wrong way. Um, that's okay. How do I... Like a so? Oh yes, we're amazing! Oh, building. Building an arc. Alright, so how are we doing? Oh man, look at how much better that looks, guys.
That looks so much better. Having those thatch things coming through the crops were absolutely driving me crazy. Um, there is like one pillar sticking up through here, but that's not a big deal at all. This looks like way, way better. The last kind of step here is we need to go get our brown paint and spray paint this guy. Let's jump over it. <laughs> let's jump over the mammoth. Parkour! And let's go over to our crayon closet. I've got a spray paint gun all made up there. And really quick, I want to show you guys what it takes to make one of these. I was thinking the spray paint would be cheap. I didn't think it would be so expensive to make one of those little guns. But here, let's pop, I think it's the fabricator that we actually make this in. Is it miscellaneous? Yeah. Look at the cost, guys! Okay, so 50 metal ingots, that's not too bad. 30 polymer, 40 crystal, 60 cementing paste, 20 oil, and 5 hide. Like, there are so many components to that little tiny spray paint gun. But it's like super, super useful. If you have a paintbrush and you're just painting things by brush, you go through your paint pretty stinking quick, and myself and Christopher were noticing if you use a spray paint gun, you get a lot more per paint. Like, it just goes forever. Like, easily two-thirds the amount. Like, not even a joke, guys. So, we're gonna dye that stuff brown. We can hold right-click right like this. See the words that say color region 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6? With the words enabled? That's what we want right there. Before we actually do anything, let's get the brush out. I'm not going to paint with the brush. I'm just going to take a peek at which regions we have on these guys. Please? Okay, so we have one, five, and six. That's perfect. So then what I want to do is I want to come over, hit number seven, and get this guy out. And when we have it in right click like this, if we hit um, left control, look at that. We just refilled the paint. That's, like, super cool. And then we need one, five... And six. So while holding right click, I just hit the five key and the six key. See how we're enabling and disabling? It's super cool. It's super cool. And then we've got our region set. We can just like run around and just spray paint everything. Look at how cool we are, man. This is so awesome and so like easy. It's so much nicer than going into the menus and having to manually paint everything. Um, before, before using this on uh, my structures, I kind of thought it was a waste. Because I really was hoping that you would be able to use it to spray paint dinos. And when I found out that I couldn't, I sort of wrote the whole device off. But now that I'm using it sort of on this regular basis, I really, really like it. Uh-oh. Get the... Timber. You're in the way, man. I love you, but you're in the way. Okay. Can we? Yes, there we go. We gotta jump shot these. Bam! Michael Jordan! Or something. I'm old. I don't know who the new basketball players are. I don't really follow basketball either. Oh, oh, oh! This is so difficult! Stop! Okay, sweet. We got it. Oh, we still got two panels here? How much is there to paint? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's looking good. Oh, that looks way better, don't you guys think? That looks way better than the thatch ceilings. Um... It just didn't work out with our farm crops. I think the thatch looks absolutely great on our little houses and on the top of our gazebo. But this looks absolutely better. I might organize, reorganize the crops. Um, after I placed them, I had this idea in my head of a different way to kind of organize them. So that could be something that's going to happen. I'm not too sure, though. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about is the brewery. All right. So, originally, I was thinking this was Brew by the Barrel. And then I was thinking the Bronto Berry Brewery, right? Um, I was, like, making a little sign. This isn't anywhere near done. It's just kind of a rough draft with a drunk dinosaur on it. Um, and then I got a comment from someone who said I could call it the Beatles Brewery. And I really, really like that. So I think that that is going to end up being what the brewery is called here. Why don't we go ahead and change the sign? Set sign text. And thank you so much. I don't, I can't remember who it was that suggested that name, but I think it's an awesome name. The Beatles Brewery. And I love to alliterate. I love when things start with the same letter. So the Beatles Brewery is totally awesome. And then maybe I can like paint a little sign that's got a little beetle on it and I don't know, a little bottle or something. That's so cool. That's so cool. We got to change this sign too. Oh, the sun is setting. An arc survival evolved. Set the sign text. 
The Beatles Brewery. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you so much for that name. Because the Bronco Berry... The Bronco Berry, I think, is still a thing. Maybe I'll make a Bronco Berry Inn somewhere on the server. That could be, like, super, super cool. Um, but I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Sorry for the kind of super short episode. Um, here, let's look at each other. I guess I meant let's drink some water. That's okay. We gotta quench our thirst. We'll look at each other with our little brewery behind us. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. And I hope your weekend goes absolutely awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna have an awesome day, too. I'll catch you next time. And this is Casters. <laughs> Ouch. Up a tree. Clinging to a cloud. Hung up a tree.